Our next guest is a Broadway singer, songwriter, and actress. It seems like there's nothing she can't do. Oh, yes. Now she has started her own wine brand, and she's also taking over ASU Gamage in the Wiz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the amazing, the beautiful, <laughs> the talented, and incredible Deborah Cox. Yay! Yay! Good well, morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Oh, Obviously, it's my pleasure. we are both geeking out because, <laughs> as we said, we're huge fans. Yeah. Um, I got to see you on Broadway in New York. Mm. Uh, Brad has several connections. Yeah. So, it's really great yeah. to have you Thank here. You. We're it's so great honored. to be here. Thank so, you so much. I yeah. love, love, love Arizona. So I'm really thrilled to be here. Uh, okay, let's talk quickly about the Wiz because uh -huh. that's one thing that you're very proud of. Yes. And then we're going to talk wine here. Of course. But let's talk because this is taking over Gamage mm -hmm. uh, right here in uh, Phoenix. You're here just for one just week. Just a week, yeah. That's it performing. We're pretty much, we're almost sold out. There's like a handful of tickets, everybody. But wow. we've been having an amazing time. The audiences here have been just incredible. And the show is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Playing Glinda has been a dream of mine. Yeah. You know, um, it's a magical, mythical character. Mm -hmm. Nothing that I've ever done before, and it's a thrill. The cast yeah. is incredible. Yeah. And you it's know, an I, incredible cast. I have to ask how it was for you to step into that role, mm -hmm. this iconic role in the movie is played by Lena Horne. Like, yes. this is a huge, huge deal. How does it feel every night to get out on that stage and get to do this role? It feels great because, again, I'm with a, an amazing cast. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got Nichelle Lewis playing our Dorothy, we've got Avery Wilson as the Scarecrow, yeah. we've got the incredible Kyle Ramar Freeman who plays the Lion, we've got Philip um, who plays um, the Tin Man, mm -hmm. we've got an incredible, incredible cast. We've got Melody Betts who plays Eveline, yeah. uh, and of course the Wiz, Ooh. Alan Mingo. Yeah. So we've got a lot of veterans, we've got a lot of real credible, um, just magical performers mm -hmm. that bring this show and the essence of the show, the original Broadway yep. version, to yep. life. I yeah. Guess. yeah. So let me ask you about that because, I mean, as you've been on Broadway mm -hmm. and you know how important this show is to, of course, the black community. Yes. Um, how does it feel that now you're a part of more history going forward? Yes, I knew it was iconic. I knew that after 50 years, this would be the first version. This is a reimagined version that people will see. Bringing it to a whole new generation of people has been, I think, the most thrilling for me because we had just a multi-generational audience mm -hmm. in every city that we've been in. And so um, the road to Broadway, the road <laughs> back to Broadway is really a lot of fun. Yeah, and the transformation of this is yes. it's incredible yes. for you. Oh, we've got the makeup of um, Kirk Delpesh, um, Kirk Cambridge Delpesh, who's done He's really just an incredible, incredible makeup designer. Um, uh, we've, we've, we're, we've been, <laughs> we, we have a, 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 an all-star creative team. Yeah. In short. Absolutely, Not yeah. And we were just seeing kind of a little bit of your transformation oh, there. Oh, yes. yes. You get to do it every night. <laughs> you get to do it every night. It's so. I amazing. honestly don't know how it. We really pull it together because at half hour, which is you know, if we yeah. have a 7:30 show, we got to be ready, um, you know, by seven. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it's like to get all of you know the whole cast into this to, to create Oz in such a short period of time is is a movie in itself. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, let's get to let's the wine because this is what you're you, here to yeah, talk about. And how do you do this from, of course, going from the stage to recording, music uh -huh. and everything, to, to making wine? wine. Well, this is Kazai Su. It's Kazai Su, rosé. Beautiful. It's an organic rosé that I named after my three children, Kayla, Isaiah, and Samai. And I wanted to create um, a legacy brand. Mm -hmm. I wanted a real brand that not just slapping my name on something that was already done, but I wanted something that was made up of the varietals that I love. I love Grenache and Sassol, mm -hmm. and I found a beautiful vineyard in uh, Provence, uh, Chateau Montpellier, who helped to um, uh, put this together. Create so it's it, yeah. been, we, we launched it in February. You can, have, um, you can uh, go to DebraCox.com. Mm -hmm. um, they'll ship it to you. Um, and you can, you know, experience uh, the luxury in a bottle. I like, okay. I love And love, I love, love the design. That's the beautiful. bottle. That was my favorite part. It was choosing the, the elegant bottle, and I wanted it to look like a perfume bottle. You it know, does, and this elegant. is, yeah, something that when you bring it out for your guests or if you use it as a hostess gift, yes. anyone is going to enjoy getting this. It's so gorgeous. Thank but you. But also, tell me what you're going to pair it with. I mean, is this something you can sip throughout the day? Mm -hmm. Is it something you're going to want to eat with a meal? Yeah. How, how, how does you this go? You can pair rosé with any meal, and, and this one is a dry rosé. It's not sweet, which mm -hmm. I love, and um, I have a sip after the show, <laughs> yes. before the show. Yes. Before um, the show, I pair, yes. with, I, I like I pair with any meal, and I 
I really believe in rosé all year round. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I was calling it the holiday rosé. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can have this, you know, not just in the summer, but if you want something light um, and something, you know, fruity and nice, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can you can do a glass of kazaisu yeah. and, and have it with salmon or salad or, or meat, whatever like you want. It. I right. definitely ask how the kids feel having their name on you know, a, a something like this. It's about legacy. You know, I'm, yeah. an, I'm at a stage in my life where I, I want to be a part of things that are going to be classic and um, being a part of the Wiz, co-producing the Wiz, yeah. um, being a part of a team, um, creating this brand is all about creating long-lasting, um, uh, classic yeah. um, legacy, legacy things yes. that will last a lifetime. Yeah, you I know? love that. Wow. Yeah. Deborah, yeah. this is awesome having you here. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank so, you. Thanks I, I for don't having want to me. stop. We have to stop. I want to talk more. Okay. I know. I can go all day, right. really. <laughs> so, you can go to aztv.com to find out more of where you can find uh, Deborah's wine at deborahcox.com. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, a uh, few tickets left. And Just Hugh a few tickets left. I know. Go there get, them get them while they're, yeah, get them while they're still available. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Coming up, if you are looking for a way to pamper yourself, Dry Bar has the answer. Ooh. Next.